welcome back to my channel. It's Andrea and today I have my six update for Child of the 80s. This is a Pantastic Ladies group collab that was created by Jaylon at Jay Loves Makeup and it's all about the 80s. Duh. <laughs> and she did it last year with 40 prompts and then this year she brought it back with 80 prompts. I was really hoping I was going to get to all 80 this year. That's not looking likely but I'm making good progress every month. So Let's just start going on down the list. First, for 16 Candles, a product that makes all your wishes come true, that is my number seven day cream, the Lift and Luminate version, because I love it. My goal was to finish it, and ta -da! it's finished. I used it 17 more times, so I have a total of, I think that makes it 44. That sounds about right. 44 times to finish this. And it's done and I really love that stuff and I have at least one backup in my collection but I'm that's already the second one that I finished in this project so I'm probably not gonna roll another one in to this project this year because that's getting a little repetitive but. next for eye of the tiger it was an eye product mascara 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 liner shadow etc so I brought in this ColourPop and Raw Beauty Christy Creme Gel Liner. This is in the shade Marigold. And I just wanted to use it 10 times, which when I brought it in, this is rolled all the way down. When I brought it in, it was brand new. And after 10 uses, it's the tip is pretty much worn away. So I really like this color. I wish all of the ColourPop liners performed like this one did, because then I might like them more. Like this one is still nice and creamy and it just glides on your waterline really smooth. But even the like the brown and the green that were in this collection, they're they were almost pretty much dry. Like not so dry that you can't use them, but they were pretty much they were much drier than this one is. So I don't know what the heck they're doing over there at ColourPop. This is rolling out. And I really like the color and I really like this particular one because the formula is still really good, but sadly I think this is the only creme gel liner I've ever owned that has actually performed the way that it's supposed to. But anyway, that's neither here nor there, but it's rolling out of this project and I really liked it a lot. Of course, every month I'm gonna have forget one item to like actually show you because this is in my like little makeup tackle box or whatever you want to call it but for totally tubular a product in a tube I'm using my Luna Magic Lash Primer my goal is to finish it I have not finished it or I don't consider it finished yet I've used it 28 more times for a total of 83 I believe that sounds right so that one's still going for E.T., a unique product, I had this little highlighter egg from the brand INT. It's a it's a gilded bronze highlighter. This is way too dark for highlighter. I only needed to use it one more time because I wanted I just wanted to use this five times. I I honestly don't know what the heck I'm gonna do with this thing because I can't use it as a highlighter. It's too sheer for a bronzer. Like I use it as a cream bronzer and like, yes, I could use it up that way, but it just basically buffed away to nothing. So I really don't, <laughs> I really don't know what I'm going to do with this, but for now it's just going to go back in my collection until the next time I need a weird random product to pull out for a project. Next is Star Wars something glittery and that <laughs> this is looking pretty bad. This is my Revolution liquid highlighter. I don't know what they called it. It's been discontinued for a long time, so it doesn't even matter. This is in the shade Liquid Starlight. My goal is to finish this because there's really not a lot left. Um, where is it? Okay, I've used it six more times for a total of 15 times since I brought it in. And there's still, there's still a decent amount. It's really hard to see through this packet like that's why I took the sticker off I think it's like down here but I can't really tell it's clinging to the sides and stuff this will probably still take a couple months just because I only wear it with a certain foundation 
because otherwise I think it'll make it too light. And even now I'm feeling like my foundation is looking like down here is looking a little bit light. But I do, I really want to finish this up because it's old. And it'll get there, just not this month. The next prompt was for Indiana Jones, something from an indie brand. And I brought in my Nomad Cosmetics Paradise Islands palette for a no pan left behind thing. I don't know. <laughs> And here's my little sheet showing all of my X's. Whoops, that's upside down. So I am wearing it for the last time today. I've got, I don't know what all these names are. This, so I, all the mattes that I'm wearing in my crease are from either my Book of Magic palette from Beauty Bay or my, I have the blue from my Violet Voss Essentials 2. But all the shimmers, I had four more shimmers that I needed to use and they're all on my eyes. So, so this one, can I read it backwards? <laughs> This one, Ocean, is on the outer portion. This one, Shark, is like all over the rest of my lid. This one, Whale, is on my inner corner. And then this one called Tahiti is on my lower lash line. So those were the last four that I had to use. I actually really, really like this eyeshadow look. I liked this palette a lot. And I'm glad that I used each of the shades and now it is it's time for it to go back into my collection and sit there for a while until I pull it into another project. So that prompt is also completed. Then Ferris Bueller's Day Off, a product that's wild or outside of your comfort zone. I just went with a wild lip color. I don't really think it's that wild but whatever. It is what I'm wearing today. This is the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in Bittersweet. Oh hello. I have Mommy. what? I want to get on your lap. You want to get on my lap? How many is it? Well, um, I did that one already. We're not. You're just too short. My goal is 10 uses on this lipstick, and I've got a total of five on it. How Today many, is the how, one and only time I've used many, it this past how month. Many, what? How many is 10 uses? How many is 10? There's nothing on here that has 10. I'm around this page anyway. So, yeah, this is the one and only time I'm wearing it this month, and I've got five uses left. I pulled it in because it pairs really well with this the Paradise Islands palette, but of course, now that's rolling out, mommy, so I'm just going to have to wear mommy, it, whatever. Mommy, what, honey? Mommy, Maddie, mommy. Maddie. I have to eat something. Else. You have, you were eating something. What happened to your yogurt with berries and I, your pretzels? I... I, I ate all my yogurt. Okay, well, can I finish filming and then I will get you something else, okay? Uh, well, if you think one use on a lipstick is bad, this next prompt for Trapper Keeper, something with cute packaging. This that, is my beauty. You want to hold it up? That looks, this looks like it's pretty. That looks like it's pretty. It's my, well, hold it over here. Hold it over there. There you go. This is my Beauty Bakery Mini Cake Puff Lippy. An apple acai. My goal is to finish this. I used it zero times this past month for a total of six times since I rolled it in the project. Did, did you not use it? I did not. Why do you she, didn't? Because I didn't. Because mommy had the her lip was hurting and I didn't wear lipstick. Do you want to? Do you want to wear it? Yeah. Get a use in. Put it on my daughter. Let me see. You better put it on your lips. It goes on your lips. Do you want to put it on or no? Yes or no? Okay. No answer means no. <sighs> Darn, I thought I was going to get an extra My use on it. My lip hurts. Your lip hurts? Yeah. Uh-oh. So that one two, is... Two times. Oh. So that one is obviously My still saying it. Right okay, honey. Can I please finish? Next is for the Terminator, a product that won't quit. And that is my Bath and Body Works Cherry Blossom Eau de Toilette. <laughs> this thing is so super old. And I tried panning it last year. I obviously did not even get halfway. So I just wanted to use this 20 times. I've used it four more times this past month for a total of five out of my 20 uses. It's going to be in here for a while. Maddie, what are you doing? Oh, whoops. Oh, that's why I didn't mark my uses for that one. That's why I skipped it. Why do you skip it? Because I didn't mark my uses down and I forgot about it. Mm. Okay. Then for just say no, something you don't like or hate. No, 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 
And as I said when I brought this in, it's not the product that I dislike or hate. It's the the cleaning step that I have to do with the product. So I, I brought in my Cinema Secrets brush cleaner because like really cleaning my brushes is a pain in the butt. <laughs> and I hate doing it. And I figured maybe if I brought this into the, into the project, I would actually clean my brushes. And I I did clean them twice since my last update so I started up here now I'm down here I if I wash them at least two times a month it should be done in two more months <laughs> but I'm not making any promises what honey what are you coming back up or what come on I'm trying to I'm trying to do this okay for the Walkman, something you've purchased or used and or used over and over and over, my Andalou Naturals toner. I don't have to say anything else about this. Ooh. I have not been keeping track of my uses because it's a toner. I use it twice a day. I am down here. Whoops. I'm also not going to mark the bottle. I don't see the point. I'm, gonna, I'm down here. This will be done <laughs> next month. I go through those pretty fast. Yeah, yeah. Finish all of those. Next for wild thing, a wild item in your collection, duo, multi-chrome, etc. I had five polishes from the polish pickup that I wanted to use one time each, which I actually have done. So first off, the one that I'm wearing today, this is the last one I had to wear, obviously. This is from the brand Baroness X, and this is the shade Cloud Forest. Why did I hold my hand up like that? I don't know. So it's like a... An apple green with reflective, you don't have anything on your nails, Reflect, reflective glitters in it. And then the other four, I believe I did take a picture of my nails every, for every manicure I did with these. So this is Bluebird lacquer, right? Why can I not read? What is going on? Yeah. Bluebird lacquer. This is Rock of Sages. I really liked this polish. It was really nice. Like this was a one coater for me. Madeline. You need to learn some patience, please. Why? Because I told you when I am done filming my video, I will help you eat. I am not done filming my video, so you need to stop. <laughs> then this one, I mean, they're all very pretty. This one is from Great Lakes Lacquer. It's Kitch Itty Kippy. This is, I don't think I took a picture of this one, but this is the polish I was wearing in my build a theme collab video that I do with Lisa and now my camera is all crooked because I have to adjust for mandolin so whatever this one I think was probably my favorite of the five this is from Kathleen and Co this is the shade cherry blossoms you can see in the light that red kind of pinky red reflective color it's got it was, I really, really liked this one. And then this one is from Moonshine Manny. It is Pawnee Commons. And of course I got it because it is Parks and Rec related. My absolute favorite show in the whole wide world. So that prompt is also finished. Okay. Next for Footloose, a product that would have been forbidden when you were a teen. Like I say every time, that was everything. But most likely, definitely black eyeliner. So this is my Julep. Cosmic Black Shimmer Eyeliner Pencil. It's getting very short. I'm getting, it's getting there. It's still several months away, but it's getting there. I will, I think, finish it before the end of the project. Here's, it is this one that kind of reminds me of a Ninja Turtle, but that is how much I have used in the past month. That that is 15 uses, and I just use it in my waterline, so we we don't have a lot left to go. It'll still be a couple months, though. Um, and I think that was everything that I was working on, right? Let me see. Liner, primer, regenerate gel. Yeah, okay, that was everything that I was working on. Well, that is Madeline. So we're just 
just gonna do this as fast as possible because we're gonna hear Madeline crying and screaming. And uh, this is my life and I have to live with it all the time so you can deal with it for five minutes. So, <laughs> sorry, but oh my God. So for the five prompts that I am rolling in, first is the Rubik's Cube, something colorful. Eyeshadow. This is my Sugar High palette from Menagerie. I have not even, I do this for Ruth. This is why I don't take any <laughs> of these off. Oh, there's a little spoiler for something I'm bringing in for another prompt. But, whoops. But this is what it looks like. Very beautiful and pretty. And there's a sugar glider on the front. So super adorable. And I'm going to bring this in for No Pan Left Behind. Then for tracksuit, something soft or makes you feel comfortable. I have this Julep Hydrating Lip Shear in Bellini. This is quite old. It's like everything in my collection pretty much. I've actually gotten quite a bit of use on it. I feel like there's not that much left. But I'm, as much as I like want to bring it in for a finish goal, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to bring this in for 20 uses. This is what, I mean, it's a lip sheer, so I can definitely use this as a balm. This one, because it's, the, the, this one has a very light peachy sheer <laughs> color, so I don't think it'll be a problem to like layer with other things, but I want to use this 20 times. Then... For hello, is it me you're looking for? A holy grail item. And I decided I'm going to bring in my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray because this is my holy grail setting spray. And I do want to finish this. So it's brand new. I have not used it yet. For gotta have more cowbell, an integral part of your routine that is like facial lotion moisturizer. So this is a bit of a, a cheat because this is very close to being finished, but this is my Andalou Naturals Ultra Sheer Daily Defense Facial Lotion with SPF 18. In the summer, I will put more SPF on than what is in here, but this is how much I have left. So this will probably be finished by next month, but if not next month, then the month after. So I wanna finish that. And then for the last new prompt that I'm rolling in, it's for I've fallen and I can't get up. A product you gave into buying. I've been seeing, like, I've been going to TJ Maxx a lot because they had all of, like, the BH Travel palettes. They had a bunch of the Weekend Vibes palettes. And every time I would see the blueberry muffin, even though you would think that it would be one that I would want to pick up right away, I, I always talked myself out of it. And this last time I went, I just gave in because I'm like, you know what? When it's gone and I really can't get it anymore, I'm probably going to kick myself. So I, I bought it. And this is what it looks like on the inside. Very nice and blue. And I'm going to bring this in for No Pan Left Behind as well. So that's, even though I'm doing No Pan Left Behind, I am bringing in quite a, a lot of eyeshadow considering how many other palettes that and things that I'm working on. Not even necessarily to hit pan, even just usage goals. I'm working on a lot of eyeshadow. So these will probably be in for quite a while, but that's okay. But that is it for my update. I, let's see, what do I think will be done for next month? Anything? I might be calling it quits on that lash primer next month. I haven't just, I don't know. I feel like I do lash stuff. I leave it for too long. But other than that, that, the toner will definitely be done. This most likely will be done. That's probably it for next month, but we'll see. It's an adventure every time. But that is it for my update today. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you're staying safe and sane and healthy, having a wonderful day or night wherever you are, and I will talk to you in the next one, hopefully without a screaming child upstairs. Bye!